Have you, Andrew, a good, free, and unconstrained will, and a firm intention to take unto yourself to wife this woman, Julianne, whom you see here before you? I have. Have you, Julianne, a good, free, and unconstrained will, and a firm intention to take unto yourself to husband this man, Andrew, whom you see before you? I have. This is more than just a celebration. It's more than just a beautiful service, nice dresses, nice suits, beautiful bride, beautiful bridegroom. It is the joining of a man and woman, the regaining of paradise. And so your crown as king and your crown as queen is also a crown of martyrdom, that beautiful martyrdom. Greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. Live this all the days of your life. Teach this to your children and to your children's children. I remember hearing you tell me about Julianne for the first time. Now, that was a moment worth capturing. Andrew told me that he'd been talking to this cool hippie girl from Washington. When he talked about you, Julianne, he had this solid, steady certainty. And when he came back from Washington for the first time, he told me, I found my person. I love the relationship between Julianne and Andrew. It's so obvious that God brought them together. Now Liam has a daddy. Andrew is a natural dad. He's just already stepping into that role and loving Liam and loving my daughter. It's a natural husband. I just love to see all of that. And it's happened so fast. I look forward to incredible, incredible tomorrows to come. Hundreds of memories. And I expect the Weather Hogs to come down and join us in Phoenix, and I will try to come up here as often as we can as well. And all of us celebrate tomorrows and the future that we're going to have together as one huge family. I raise my glass and I say to life, Jubilee!